Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to a midweek edition, a Wednesday, if you will, of Five Minutes with Phil. I'm glad that you've joined me here today. Hey, we haven't said this in a couple days or so, but if any of these uh, devotions could help somebody that you know of, then forward the link, if you will. You can you can just uh, copy the link on on. Uh, YouTube, or you can share it on Facebook, hopefully, and uh, you can um, kind of share the love and, and, and help some people out that might benefit from one of these messages, and uh, I think that'd be great. That That's what we want to do. We want to help people, so uh, take advantage of that. Now, uh, today's Wednesday, so uh, what I'd like to do is uh, do a, a, a three-part devotional on the same scripture. Uh, so we'll look at the same scripture for today, uh, for Thursday, and for Friday. And I want to break it down into three different parts. And so this morning, I would like to direct us, uh, as we will the next couple of days, to the book of Isaiah. In Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. And I want to show this to you on the screen, and then we'll... Uh, We'll isolate part of the verse and, and talk about today. So check this out. Here's what it says. Isaiah 41 verse 10 says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And the part that I want us to focus on here today is the very beginning, okay? It says, so do not fear, for I am with you. It, it's been interesting to watch our culture and our society in the last couple of years because uh, the, the, the fear emotion, the emotion of fear, has become a huge motivator for many people to make decisions in their lives. Uh, the, the, the presence of fear uh, of, a, uh, of a disease, fear of an outcome, fear of a financial situation, I mean, that really is a motivator for a lot of people, and I would tell you, I think it's the wrong motivator to, motiv to motivate us to do anything. Because here's the deal, okay? God never operates through fear. <sighs> Let me say that again. God never operates through making you afraid or anxious or fearful. That's not how God does stuff. The scripture tells us that perfect love casts out fear. Well, that perfect love comes from God. And I, I want to speak to people today who may be really, really afraid of, for example, this virus. Or you might be really afraid of, uh, of something else, you know, uh, of, of uh, your future. Uh, afraid of death or dying. I mean, you know, that... Really, I've seen the list go on and on and on where, and it's just, it's not like a fear of spiders, okay? But it's just like gripping fear and being afraid. I want you to know that you don't have to fear. Why? Because of what Isaiah said at the beginning of the verse, quoting God. God said, do not fear for I am with you. When I was, uh, uh, much younger, and my son was much younger, like when my son was a toddler, if my son ever felt really, really scared, uh, inevitably what he would do, he would try to find his daddy, and he would come as close to him as he could because he knew that there was security in being close to his dad, to his father. Now, let's make that spiritual. There is a lot of security in knowing that you're close to God the Father. You don't need to fear today. Why? Because your Father is with you. He will keep you. He will 
protect you. He will guide you. He is there with you. So if you find yourself governing your life based on fear, Jesus would say, no, you, you need to make choices based on other things besides being fearful. And I want to challenge you today that if you find yourself in a lot of anxiety and fear today, God's with you and he wants to turn that around. Okay. Love you. Thank you for watching today. Uh, we'll talk to you again tomorrow from the book of Isaiah. God bless. Bye-bye.